Oh, it's so hot in here. I think I'm going to pass gas. There's a new fuss in town, and it's called the Good Boy Fuss because it's specifically made for good boys. So if you're not a good boy, don't even think about it. In fact, if I catch you here being a bad boy, it's gonna be insta fucking block. So this piece of fuss pedal is actually a continuation of the bearded fuss, but it's better than the bearded fuss. So what makes this the good boy fuss is that it has a switch for good boys and bad boys. So actually I take the beginning back. You can you can play this and be a a bad boy. And the bad boy mode is pretty much the exact same as the bearded fuss except it's a bit cleaner. It gives the, the tone a bit more room to play. The bearded fuss was kind of muddy in the sound and then I realized that hey we have that part of the circuitry in the guitar you know, in the tone knob that you fucking metalheads never touch. You should touch the tone knob every once in a while. It will change your life, man. I'm recording this from an amplifier with the EQ just every knob up to 10 and directly into my computer to get the, the flattest, most boring sound imaginable. So this is bad boy mode, full gain, full volume, full everything on a Stratocaster. And if we just roll down the tone knob, then, then we get the sound of the original bearded fuss. And this, this pedal, this piece of gear, is extremely responsive towards small changes within the settings of the guitar. So if we just... Oh my god, I'm so fucking sweaty. If we just pound a couple, a couple of chords... And then we just dial back the, the volume knob just slightly from, from, from 10 to somewhere between 8 and 9. We get that lovely lo-fi sound. And, and that's great, just add a piece of, of, of reverb and then you're in Misfit City. And if we roll back on the gain, we get this, this crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Crunchy crunchy sponge, crunch, crunchy crunchy chunk, crunchy chunk. Do you hear that lo-fi crunch? Crunch. It's a new sound.
then we switch it over to the star of the show, the good boy mode. And this is the good boy mode in full gain. Crunchy is, is that sound. And it's great for, you know, this kind of retro sound, some, some, you know, some picking. So this is really meant for like, like good boy music. That's the, the good boys make, you know, the, the kind of... That's how the good boy mode sounds. And personally, I think it sounds fantastic with a little more gain, and then you add some, some reverb and some chorus. My guitar is out of tune. Who, who tunes a guitar with chorus on? That's Good boy mode. Here come the Good boy mode. So that that's that's the kind of good boy sounds that you can make with the good boy fuss. But you know, the, the good boy mode, it can still bite, it's not just sweet sounds. You, you, if you, you know, hit the guitar hard, you can, you can still produce some rock, 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 rock and roll. So that's pretty much the good boy fuss. It's great for lo-fi sounds and hi-fi sounds and good boy sounds, but... And towards the end of the video, I will post the schematic and I encourage you if you want to build this, because it's a really simple build, it's an easy build, anyone can do it. I will mark the different components that I recommend that you kind of experiment with. There's a couple of diodes, resistors, capacitors that will greatly affect the sound. So I encourage you to, if you decide that, hey, I'm not a good enough boy, 
to get this made for me, so I need to make it myself. Then I strongly encourage you to buy a bunch of different values of the, the capacitors and the resistors, but within a reasonable deviance, of course. And also some different diodes and just experiment and see what you like. And if you can make one of these that sound like you want it to sound. Because there's not many components and each component switched will have a huge effect on, on the sound that it makes. So do that. <laughs>